welcome BFA1. That's probably how you'll be referred to uh, here at SOTA. That's the School of Dramatic Art. Uh, you know me from auditions, but I'll introduce myself. My name is Lionel Walsh, and I teach acting in all programs at the School of Dramatic Art, so you cannot avoid me. Okay, so today is all about uh, making sure that you are registered in the correct courses. And in the BFA program in first year, you don't have any choices. So it's really easy. You just have to follow the instructions, okay? So let's look at the first course. This is a required course for all dramatic art majors. It's called Introduction to Theater Performance Studies 1, Drama 1000. And I am going to read the, um, the description uh, just because it prompts me a little bit uh, on what I need to let you know. So several of the following topics will be covered. Play and performance analysis, genre and style, alternative articulations of performance, theories and process of production design, a survey of technical practices, and communication and collaboration. Introduction to Theater and Performance Study is a two-part sequence, and it's required for all majors, as I said, in the School of Dramatic Art. And you will have a lab assignment supporting the production schedule of the university players, uh, for this uh, course, okay? So this is the big intro course that everybody takes. So you'll meet all the students in the School of Dramatic Art from all the other majors. And so you know, we also have an Honours BA, a Drama and Education and Community Program, and a Concurrent Education Program. Uh, so, uh, and also non-majors can take this course. So this is going to put you all on the same page, give you some vocabulary, and have you, um, learn about all the different types of theater that uh, we have in today's world. Um, and uh, when you register, don't forget to register for your lab. The labs range from lighting, uh, set design, not set design, sorry, set construction, painting, publicity, and running shows. If you choose to do a crew for a show, you will work a solid two weeks while that show is in tech, and in performance, and then you're done. If you choose one of the other labs, you'll do three hours a week all semester long to support university players' productions. And next year, we're doing four shows. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Drama 1200, Voice for the Actor One. This is an introduction to the study and practice of voice and speech for the theater. So some students often think that it's going to be a singing class, but it's not. This is going to be a, a mix of uh, working on um, uh, a warm-up, uh, a vocal a workout, and also working on some idiosyncrasies that you may have vocally. And it's offered in conjunction with Drama 1260, which I'll tell you about in a moment, and Drama 1280, which will come after that. Um, those courses are required to be taken all at the same time, and these courses are all restricted to BFA and acting students only. All right, let's go to the next slide. This is Drama 1260, Movement for the Actor One. It's an introduction to the study and practice of movement for the actor. And again, it has co-requisites of 1200 and 1280. This course will teach you a movement workout or a physical workout to get you ready for performance and also start to work on some uh, posture issues and things like that, um, just to get you ready to use your body fully in the performance of a scene or a monologue. Next slide. Drama 1280, Improvisation and Introduction to Acting for the Theater One. This is the course that I teach. It's an introduction to the study and practice of acting with an emphasis on the basic elements of improvisation. Now, improvisation in this case means improvising scenes uh, to learn acting technique. It's not going to be like Saturday Night Live or Whose Line Is It Anyway? Um, it really is learning the core of uh, basic acting technique after Stanislavski. We'll also do a little bit of work on imagination uh, using um, fantastic realism as developed by Michael Chekhov, who was the nephew of Anton Chekhov, the playwright. Uh, and all three of the courses I've talked about just now have lab hours by arrangement. Those lab hours will be run by your teaching assistants, who are students in the School of Dramatic Art, in the in fact in the BFA program, who are in upper years. So they've already taken this course and they have some wisdom to offer you as you go through the program. Next slide, please. Drama 1300 Theater History. 
This is critical approaches to the main elements of Greek and Roman theater, medieval, Western, and Asian theater, Italian, Spanish, and English Renaissance theater. This course is open to non-majors as well as majors, and it will fulfill one of three theater history requirements that you have over the course of the four years of your degree. Okay, next slide, please. GART 1500 Effective Writing 1, a foundational course aimed at developing effective writing skills for communicating ideas in academic and other contexts. Topics may include grammar, paragraph writing conventions, academic learning, and critical thinking. This course is hybrid, which means it will be some online and some in person. Uh, this course is very important. Um, it will teach you the basics that you need to write your papers across all programs in the university. And you will be writing in an academic context in all of your classes in the School of Dramatic Art. So it's really important that you pay attention to this course and that you incorporate the learning into all of your writing at the university. Okay, next course. Already, so this is just a summary. Uh, your courses are Drama 1000 plus a lab, that's Introduction to Theater and Performance Studies, Drama 1200, Voice for the Actor 1, Drama 1260, Movement for the Actor 1, Drama 1280, Improvisation and Introduction to Acting for the Theater 1, Drama 1300, Theater History, and GART 1500, Effective Writing 1. Next slide, please. So some tips for planning a successful semester. Number one, seek academic advising from a professor every November and every April. This will make sure that you're keeping track uh, of what courses you're taking and that you get uh, all the courses you need by the end of fourth year so that you can graduate on time. The other thing you can do is if you do drop courses or you want to take courses uh, outside of the regular two semesters of fall and winter, uh, the professor can give you advice on how to do that. Advisors are listed at www.uwindsor.ca slash drama. And then you click on advising and counseling sheets and you'll see the list of advisors there as you scroll down the page. Um, print or download the counseling sheet and keep track of courses as you take. That'll also help you make, make sure that you're on track. And those counseling sheets are at that same link. Also, visit your professor throughout the semester during their office hours to discuss their course, career goals, and to seek resources for success. Because there are several resources offered not only within the School of Dramatic Art, but outside the School of Dramatic Art to help you develop academically and do well in your courses. So next slide. So we are here to help. There's the link uh, for plan your program. And if you want more information on planning your program for the fall semester, just click on that link. So in conclusion, welcome to SOTA. That's the School of Dramatic Art. I'm looking forward to seeing you in class in September and enjoy your semester and have a good summer. Bye-bye.